Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info. In our speed test battle between the Google Pixel Watch and Samsung's latest wearable, the Galaxy Watch 5, to see which smartwatch can better handle the rigors of day-to-day -day usage. You can pick up both of these watches at their respective online stores, Amazon.com, and a host of other online and brick-and-mortar retailers. With the base model of the Watch 5 setting you back around $280, and the Pixel Watch starting at around $350. Just a couple of years ago, Wear OS devices were riddled with bugs and jittery, less than stellar performance. But recent history has seen across-the-board performance improvements across all Wear OS devices with Samsung and Google largely leading the charge. The Galaxy Watch 5 is packing Samsung's latest wearable chipset, the Exynos W920, with 1.5 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. And while the W902 is Sammy's latest wearable chipset, it was actually first used in the Galaxy Watch 4 from last year, so this is actually its second time around the block. The Pixel Watch is also using a Samsung-branded Exynos processor, but it's actually the 9110 chipset from 2018. Wow. To help offset this, the Pixel Watch is packing a low-power coprocessor, a generous two full gigs of RAM, and a whopping 32 gigs of storage. Will that be enough to compete with the advantage of the newer chipset in the Galaxy Watch? Let's find out. So for this test, we're going to ask both watches to simultaneously perform a series of tasks. Whenever one watch performs the task faster, it will receive a point. If a task's completion is too close to call, no point will be awarded. Both watches are fully charged, and we will check both watches' battery drain at the end of the test. So on the left, we have a fully charged Pixel Watch, and on the right, we have a fully charged Galaxy Watch 5. And to start the test, we're going to see which watch boots up faster. And we will do this for two reasons. One, to see which watch does indeed finish spinning up quicker, but also to make sure all applications are purged from each watch's memory, which will help ensure a level playing field. All right, it looks like the Galaxy Watch has definitely booted up quicker. And it actually looks like it booted up quite a bit quicker. Wow. Okay. There we go. So big difference there in uh, the boot up. Obviously the Galaxy Watch wins that point. Next, we're going to try opening a few apps. Now we are actually going to go back and reopen all of these apps to see if either watch gains an advantage by keeping any of the apps open in the background. Next, we're going to try installing a couple of apps. Next, we will be testing Google Assistant. The Google Assistant can be downloaded to the Galaxy Watch from the Play Store, and predictably, it comes pre-installed on the Pixel Watch. We will ask the Assistant on both watches to perform a series of tasks, and just like with the apps, we will award a point whenever either of the watches performs the task faster than the other. Set an alarm for 7 p.m. this evening. 7 p.m. Set a reminder at 6 p.m. to feed the dog. Text Karen. All right, what's the message? Got it. What's the message? Never gonna give you up. 
It's never going to let you down. Ready to send it. Ready to send it. Sending your message. That was funny. So they both started kind of the the Galaxy Watch was first, so it started picking up what the Pixel Watch was saying, but the Galaxy Watch was clearly faster there. What's the weather like outside? Right now in St. Charles, it's 33 degrees and clear. Today, it will be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 40 and a low of 20. How do you spell Twitter cluster? Twitter cluster is spelled T-W-I-T-T-E-R-C-L-U-S-T-E-R. What is 64 times 64? 64 times 64 is 4096. Show me a picture of Voltron. These pictures should match. Where is the closest sushi restaurant? I found a few places near you. How long will it take for me to get to work? With light traffic, it will take you 20 minutes to get to work by car. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Maybe to get to the road's other side. Is that a trick question? What is the meaning of life? According to the late 20th century philosophers, Bill and Ted, life's purpose is to be excellent to each other. And, party on. But that's just two dudes' opinions. And when taking a final look at the battery drainage over the course of the test, the Galaxy Watch is sitting at 90% and the Pixel Watch is sitting at 85%. And even though this is a very small sample size of time, the Galaxy Watch definitely takes the win here. So at the end of the day, what have we learned? Well, the numbers certainly tell a story of Galaxy Watch dominance, but numbers don't tell the whole story. With the exception of the startup test, all the other results were very close with usually only fractions of a second separating both watches. I actually think it's pretty impressive that the Pixel Watch was able to hang with the Galaxy Watch at all, considering the generational gap between chipsets. I also don't feel like you will notice a real difference in performance between these two watches in day-to-day -day use. I've been using the Pixel Watch since its release, and before that, I was also using the Galaxy Watch 5 since its release. And I can tell you they both feel quick and responsive with a minimum of jitters and jank. So I feel like the bottom line is when deciding which one of these wearables you should pick up, performance probably shouldn't be the deciding factor. I would just go with the watch that has the look and the features best suited to your lifestyle. I've actually done a one minute review of the Pixel Watch and a full length review of the Galaxy Watch 5. So if you want to check out either of those, I will leave links to those reviews at the end of this video and down in the description. <laughs> How convenient. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.